What is shaking, everyone? I'm back. Got another video for you here. I'm unemployed, so I've got nothing but time to open cards. Although, money to purchase cards could become a problem here at some point. Once I get through the back stock. But, luckily I'm pretty well stocked. But I do not think I'm ripping into my 2019 Series 2 yet. I think those are that's a gold mine waiting to happen. Anyhow, for this little... Uh, little video for you this evening. I've got a pack of 2017 Series 1. I bought these probably six months ago. Obviously on clearance from the Walmart for, a, I think, $3.50 a pack. Uh, your big cards in here, you got the Aaron Judge, Bregman, uh, Yuan Mankata, Josh Bell, Benintendi. All rookie cards. It's not a real popular... You can still pick those up pretty cheap if you look around. But at the end of the day, Judge, Bregman, Moncada, those are three pretty big dogs. Bell and Ben and Tendi are kind of second tier. Then you got a bunch of decent guys. Dansby Swanson, David Dahl, Alex Reyes, Joe Musgrove, Luke Weaver, Ray Lowe. Ray Lowe. I mean, I guess they're not, those are probably all, what, 25 cent cards. I'm telling you, keep an eye out for Alex Reyes this year if they play. Because he's the kind of guy, he throws hard, real hard. Like, Sports Center is going to pick up on the fact this guy's throwing 104 miles an hour if he's got his head on right. All right, I'll quit talking and start ripping. Obviously, uh, pack number two is going to be 2020 Top Series 1 Baseball. The big dogs in here, Jordan Alvarez, Bo Bichette, Gavin Lux, Aristides Aquino. And I'm big on the Dustin May, Laz Lazardo, AJ Puck. Nico Horner. Anyhow, we're going to go oldest to newest. And we're going to start with our 2017 Series 1. Again, we're looking for Aaron Judge, Alex Bregman, Yuan Mancata, and a host of other uh, decent dudes. All right, what do we got here? Brian McCann. Well, Brian McCann, huh? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do this a whole video, but Brian McCant. Tyler Austin rookie card. I bet you in 2017 people thought he was gonna be good. I know I did. But he is not. I mean, he, I mean he's alright, but good's not the word. Rubby De La Rosa. Rubby. Who the hell names their kid Rubby? I'm sure that's short for something. Do they have his full name on here. Is it Rubello or something? Rubby De La Rosa. I wonder if he speaks English. I wonder if they just called him Rubby because he didn't speak English. And they said, hey, we're going to call you Rubby. What do we got here? Scott Van Slyke. Got to be related to Andy, right? Why is this camera shaking? Must have kicked the tripod. Yeah, anyhow, Scott Van Slyke, Eddie Rosario, this guy's a player, Glasnow rookie card, I didn't even have him on my list, I'm huge on Tyler Glasnow, hell, he may need another year just to get healthy, that's actually not true, he came back at the end of last year and pretty much dominated, he pretty much dominated all of last year if you add the season together. Unfortunately, uh, he missed over half the season right in the middle of it. That's odd. David Peralta had 149 games, 462 at bats in 2015. I wonder if he got hurt. Oh, yeah, there we go. I guess I could read the damn card, huh? Shelved by back and wrist injuries most of the year. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Anyhow, David Peralta. We got a Will Middlebrooks. Looking very serious about fielding this grounder. We have the great future Hall of Famer, Nolan Arenado. League leader card. RBIs. 133 ribbies. We got Aaron Sanchez, league leaders. This guy is just falling apart. He led the league in ERA. 
in 2016. No kidding. I'd like to see how many innings he pit. He had to adjust qualified. Matt Kemp, league leaders. What? What? Wait a minute. Matt Kemp, league leaders, National League. Oh, so what do they do? Make a card for the top 10? What the hell would they do that for? I, don't know. I haven't opened that much 2017, so I don't know. Randall Gritchick. Excellent power. That's about 230. Nori Aoki. I don't think he's in the league anymore. Oswaldo Arcia. Dustin Pedroia. I don't think he can walk anymore. I'm ho I hope he... Did he officially hang it up yet? I hope he did. It was time, Dustin. He had a nice career. We got a Paul Goldschmidt Father's Day. I don't think that means a damn thing. Looks like Goldschmidt's uh, father blew out his shoulder thrown to young Paul. The man cares. We got an Altuve. Silver Slugger Award. Interesting. We got a first pitch, John Lovitz. I got to tell you, that's going in a penny sleeve. I'm a big John Lovitz fan. And the children of the day don't even know who this guy is. That's a crime. Rain, you know who John Lovitz is? John Lennon. John Lennon. No, go back to sleep. They have no idea who John Lovitz is. That's all. He's going with the glass now. And we got a Mike Lowell, an analyst card. That's uh, stupid. Zach Britton, whatever. Justin Turner. Have you guys seen the pictures of Justin Turner pre-beard? He looks like uh, Brandon Whedon. He looks like he looks like a little mini Brandon Whedon before he grew the beard. He's doing the right thing with his beard. We got Tucker Barnhart, another great man, Freddie Freeman. One, two, three, four, or what? Fifth year. Yeah, Freddie Freeman's another one to pick up on now, people. Grab your Freddie Freeman's while you can. Because if he has another good year, it's just going to continue to go up. We got the Tribe. Let's see, we got uh, Roberto Perez, Frankie Lindor, Kipnis. Can't really tell who these guys are. Andre Knotts is over here somewhere. For those of you that... Uh, Watch the Indians broadcast. The Cleveland broadcast. The Tribe. God, I miss it. I had to call Major League Baseball TV today. They charged me on March 3rd for the whole month. I'm like, hey man, there's no baseball. Like, I'm not paying for this. Even though I already did, so. Hopefully we'll get a refund. We'll see. Canceled the subscription for the time being, but I'll be back. All right, we got a San Francisco Giant team card. I've already burned up eight minutes running my damn mouth. We got an Arietta. There's no explanation for how this guy gets people out, by the way. I mean, he's not good, but somehow continues to win games. I loved it last year. He talked smack for the team about not giving up, something or other, and he went out and got shelled the rest of the year. Like, you're terrible, Arietta. Shut up. Yankees team card. I got no use for Yankees. We got a Tyler White. I don't even know where he's at now. We got a David Dahl. This is one of those secondary rookie cards I was talking about. I'd put him a little bit behind the glass now on my list, but he's on the list. We got another Zach Britton card. He's now middle reliever for the Yankees, and he's he's a good pitcher. Cannot argue that. We got a good-looking Mookie, and this is an early Mookie. This would be, what, his second-year card? I don't know if that's actually worth much at this point, but one day it will be. We're going to put him over there in the glass now, Doll Lovett's pile. Jameson Tyon, rehabbing. Well, not probably not even rehabbing yet. Just had a Tommy John surgery, so he won't be back till next year. Matt Adams, eh, is what he is. Ryan Flaherty, another 
is what he is. Carrasco, the man they call Cookie. We'll see. We'll see what Cookie has for us this year. One thing, if you play fantasy baseball, he's relief pitcher eligible. So depending on your league rules, you may definitely be able to manipulate Carlos Carrasco to your advantage, depending on what your league rules are. And last but not least, we got an Alex Wood, who is once again the fifth pitcher in the Dodgers rotation, according to an announcement they made uh, back when sports were still happening. You know what I would give right now to catch a late night San Jose State and uh, Santa Clara basketball game or something. Any any kind of sports. I'm watching like old YouTube videos of dumb shit just because I don't have any sports in my life other than these cards. But these cards are, are my friends. There you go. 2020 Topps Baseball Series 1. Once again, we're looking for any short prints, but the big rookies in here, Jordan Alvarez, Bo Bichette, Gavin Lux, Aristides Aquino, Dustin May, Jesus Lazardo, Nico Horner, AJ Puck, Sean Murphy, Brandon McKay, Zach Gallen, Helva, Sam Hilliard. Pretty good uh, lineup for Series 1. These I did not like these cards first time I saw them open, and I really like them now. I really do. Feels good. Feels good. And I'm used to the side, the side name thing. It does not bother me at all anymore. Chris Archer. Now, I almost drafted him this weekend. I know his numbers at the end of the year look terrible, but I felt like he had some really good games. At the, I need to look that up. I need to look at his game by game. I know his velocity is down and he's got issues, but I feel like he won some games there towards the end of the year. Jose Peraza. Another fantasy baseball sleeper to some extent. In January, I was drafting him real early because he's second base, shortstop, and outfield eligible. And he's with the Red Sox now. But since that time, they've re-signed Mitch Moreland and done a bunch of other crap that makes it even less likely Peraza. I don't know. I think he'll play a lot. And he stole a lot of bases two years ago. Two years ago, he was highly regarded, so... There's a chance for a bounce back. I just question his playing time. All right, we got Kirby Yates. John Gray, I've said it once, I'll say it again. When John Gray's contract's up with Colorado, he's going to go somewhere else where the, where there's, you know, somewhere somewhere that's somewhere close to sea level and he's going to dominate everybody. He is going to dominate everybody at sea level, man. Look at this guy with his 3.84 ERA pitching at Coors Field. 150 innings pitched. 150, well, 150 and 150. 150 innings pitched, 150 strikeouts. John Gray is a stud in the making. We've been talking about it for a long time. His problem's Colorado, I'm telling you. Although I don't think his splits say that, but whatever. Uh, Mike Brousseau, rookie card. I have no idea who this dude is at all. Michael Gibbons, the worst, second worst closer in the game. I'll say Wade Davis is probably the worst. Another Colorado situation for Wade. Michael Gibbons stinks. Starlin Castro is going to have a huge year if they play this year, but he's in Washington now, and he's a good fit for Washington. I think he hated his life in Miami was the biggest part of the problem. All right, here's one of the final tier rookies. Definitely ahead of, uh, what's this guy's name? Michael Brousseau. This guy's definitely ahead of Brousseau on my list. I didn't even know Brousseau existed. But uh, Jor Jordan Yamamoto, another guy had a really good year. Although it doesn't really look like it here. But 3.58 ERA in uh, 12 starts. And that's solid. But again, his, uh, his, his metrics don't support what he did. So we'll see. Miles Michaelis. Everyone pronounces it Mikolas, and that's not correct, man. It's Miles Michaelis. Listen to the damn Cardinals radio broadcast. Well, I was like, pause there. Cardinals radio broadcast. Close call. Here's the deal. This car's not worth a damn thing, but how sweet is that? Look at the photography on that card, man. We got Nico Goodrum getting back to the bag by a middle finger. He's probably out. 
But look at that. That's awesome. Scott Kingery, another sleeper. Pick up his rookie now. Masahira Tanaka. That's a crazy looking card. I think they're all six nines, aren't they? Yeah, that's just his card. That's cool, though. I can live with that. Tanaka. Okay, we have a Topps Chrome Turkey Red, Max Kepler. Not numbered. Cool card, though. We got the stupid Reese Hoskins insert. Reese Hoskins uh, can't hit real well, so I don't know why they put him in here. Then again, you know, Reese Hoskins another guy. He can definitely rebound. I'm pretty hard on the guy, but, I mean, he batted, like, bad. <laughs> 230, something like that. All right, we have a Sandy Koufax, 1985 design. It's a cool card. I'd give it to my brother-in-law, who is a diehard Dodgers fan, but he hates any kind of a reprint card, even though this isn't truly a reprint. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. We got a Nick Senzel Turkey Red. We got a All-Star John Means Turkey Red. And John Means is also another sneaky one in your fantasy baseball drafts. I don't care what anyone says. The guy's good. Raphael Devers. I am all over him. All over his rookie card, at least. JT Real Moto, Best catcher in the game. Zach Granke, Taylor Rogers. I think the magic is over, folks. Matt Tice, Big Dan Vogelbach, looking like Babe Ruth or something. Look, he actually has his hand in his pants on his picture. Wow. Big country, Dan Vogelbach. We got a Hyunjin Ryu, League Leaders. Don't quote me on it, but they say that Ryu may have been somewhat responsible for the spread of the coronavirus. We got a Mike Clevenger. I like the tattoos. CJ Crone, now with Detroit. Probably can put up pretty decent numbers there if he's playing every day. We got an Aaron Nola. Willie Adamas. Nobody talks about Willie anymore, but he had a pretty solid year last year when it was all said and done. 263, 30 home runs, 10 steals. How many ribbies? 86 RBIs. That's not right at all. I read you totally incorrect numbers. Ignore that. 20 home runs, 52 RBIs, and 4 steals. I, I just read you his two year average. Batted 254. I'm telling you, keep an eye on the guy. All right, Cubs team card Michael Chavis, future stars. Brian Anderson. Moustakis and Max Stassi. The magic is over, folks. Only thing I pulled out of that was a Yamamoto. Worst five fifty I've ever spent. All right, that's it for this video. I'm trying to figure out how I can just uh, load up these videos into YouTube and schedule them to post the same time every night, like a little buddy of mine told me. But I haven't got to that point yet. Um, I think that's it. I did want to mention I am somehow, by the grace of God, at 91 subscribers right now. I want to give a shout out to my buddy Joe D, subscriber number 91. But I'm uh, inching, inching towards 100. I know a lot of guys like to do giveaways and that kind of thing when they get to 100. But guess what? That ain't going to happen. Not going to happen. There will be no giveaway. There will be no fanfare. That's all I have for you tonight. Farewell.